Hi, welcome back. It's Gail here. In this video, I'll show you how to create the butterfly body that you see on the left. And this is part two. And it's describing the word determined. And I'll get started right away. So we're going to start a new Google drawing. I'm just going to click up here on file and go to new and click on drawing. I'm going to title this butterfly body and I'm going to move it to my symbols folder. So I'm looking for that one. It's right here. Clicking on that. And now I'm going to double click where I'm taking two fingers to press down the launch pad or the mouse on the canvas so that I bring up the background and I'm going to change this to black. And now we're ready to create the body. So to do so, I'm just going to keep all, I'm just going to start off with shapes. I'm going to the shapes tool. I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. And I'm looking for this triangle right here. And I'm going to just pull out a really skinny, skinny long tail. And I think what I might do is just make this super long so I know I can balance everything else, else on it. And I think that looks really pretty good. I'm just going to make it a little bit thinner right here. And I'm going to flip it. To do so, go to Arrange, go to Rotate, and then Flip Vertically. And there we go. We got that part. And it looks like I want to make that a little bit thinner so it has like a stinger tail there. And that looks really good. And now we're going to start with the next shape. I am going to keep this a little bit more pointed and more of a shield shape down here. And then I'll start to build up the breastplate with the ovals. I'm going to shapes again, going to shapes tool. And I'm coming down to where the shield is right here. And I'm just going to click and pull out a shape. Maybe I'll keep it kind of thin like so. And then I'm just going to bring that down and see what kind of shape I want right there. And I'm just going to keep it a little bit tall because I'm going to keep overlapping and building upon it anyway. I'm going to make this a little smaller. If for some reason you can't get the shapes the way you want them because it seems like it keeps snapping onto something else, all you have to do is go to view and go down to where it says snap to. Make sure that um, there's not a check mark next to grid and if there's one next to guys just click on it to get rid of that and you'll have more leeway as to how you move the shapes around and make them a slightly thicker than you know being snapped to a guideline or a grid. So we have this. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing control plus D or command plus D. I'm going to bring that up and make that a little bit wider. Oops, not that wide. And see if I can line that up on that shape. Okay, like so. And then I think I'm going to do one more of these. I'm duplicating it again. And I think I'm going to keep it about the same thickness. And now I'm ready to add ovals. I'm going to Shapes tool again. I'm going to choose the Circle tool right here and just pull out a thin oval. And I want it to kind of be wrapping around those more flat shapes. And that looks pretty good. We'll just see how that works. And it looks like I can make that a quite a bit thinner. And that one's pretty awesome. I'll keep, the, I'm just gonna make it a little bit thinner and center it one more time. I'm just kind of going back and forth. I was using a guideline for this, but for some reason, um, the guideline was getting more in the way, and if you want to, we could pull one out and make sure everything's straight in a little bit. I have this one here. I'm going to duplicate by hitting Command plus D. I'm going to bring that up, and I'm just going to kind of keep building it up as so. And then I might make these a little bit thicker as I come up here. A little bit wider there, and this one a little bit wider here. And just looking at the one on the left there to kind of see if that's enough. I could always come back in and add more if I need it. And I think I'm going to keep it pretty much like it is right here. I might, I think I'm going to do one more. I'm going to bring this one down 
And I'm just going to bring these down. I'm going to do one more thickness now that I look at it. And I'm going to duplicate this one. And I make it a little bit bigger right there for the chest plate. Okay, and although it's not completely straight, that's pretty good for right now. And then we are going to make the head. To do so, we're going to use the shield again. Instead of coming up here to get the shield, I'm just going to click on one of the shields down here at the bottom. I'm going to hit Command plus D or Control plus D to duplicate. And then I'm going to pull this out and kind of come up with the shape for the head. And I think I want this to be a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit bigger, I'm not sure. And that looks good. I just want to make it a tad bit bigger. There we go. Mm, okay, now that we have this, we are going to change all the steel shading on these. This one right here will be a radial design, so we're going to click on the, the first part of the head right here. And we're going to fill color, go over to gradient, and we're going down to custom. We're going to change linear line over here to radial. And we're going to add two more dots in here. I'm just going to move this one up here a little bit. And I'm going to change this one to a darker gray down here. This is going to be behind the shield that you see there. So it's like the back part. And I'll choose this dark gray right here. Maybe I'll go a little bit darker. And then this one I will change to about two. And this one will be a little bit lighter. And then over here I might go with a lighter shade. And we'll see what that looks like. Um, that looks kind of rounded right there, but we can always come back and change it if we need to. We're going to be covering this part up anyway. Now I'm going to select these, um, and then we're going to change the shading to that. Before I do so, I'm going to click on this one over on the left side, and I'm going to choose one of these. I'm going to come up here and go to Custom so we can see what that's going to look like to get this kind of design. Now I'm going to down... I'm going down here and I'm holding down the shift key so I can select all of these shapes underneath. And I'm going back to gradient and down to custom. And it looks like we need to add four circles in there. So one, two, three, four. And we'll add our colors in just a minute. So it looks like we're about right there. This one's coming over a little bit more in the center. And then this one's over here. And I'm going to estimate as to what colors I used before. This one over here, I think it's the second to the darkest gray. And this one right here looks like it might be... Actually, this one over here looks like it's... No, that looks good. This one will change to maybe a lighter gray right there. Over here, I'll go with even a lighter gray. And this one will go to, a, you know, even a white I'm going to try that real quick and see how that looks. And then this one I'm going to change to a lighter gray again. And over here we'll go back to a darker gray. And maybe I'll go one in like so. And then we're going to change the angle to 180 degrees. And I'm going to click OK and see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good overall. I'm going to keep it like that, and now we're ready to move on to the head portion right here. I'm going, oh, actually I'm going to add the, the cones and the spheres on top first. I'm grabbing a hold of the triangle that I had at the bottom here. I'm going to hit Command plus D or Control plus D, moving that over. Definitely going to make this a lot shorter for the antennas, and I'm going to flip it around by going to Arrange, Rotate, and Flip Vertically. And I'll bring it up here. And we'll kind of get an idea what this looks like. I'm going to angle this outward a little bit. And that is really thin. I'll make that a little bit thicker just so I can see it right now. And I'm going to pull it up a little bit. And I think I'll make that a little thinner. And if you find that's too bright, you can always change the color of it. I think I am going to keep this one a little bit brighter. 
um, just so you can see the difference. And if I were going to print this on paper, I definitely want to keep it brighter. If it's going to be made for something for a web page or something like that, you could go with a little bit darker color. Then I'm going to hit Command plus D or Control plus D to duplicate. And then we're going to arrange and we're going down to rotate and we're going to flip it horizontally. And I'll move that one over here. And I am bringing it down in front of this shape right here. And I just, I think I need to bring this one down a little bit. And then we are going to add little spheres to the top there. And so I'm going to shapes. I'm going to grab the circle tool right here. And act, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to hold down shift and pull out a little circle. And I'm going to bring that over here. And I think my shape just turned, so I'm gonna or changed, so I'm gonna start over again. And I'm going back to gradient, and I'm gonna choose that radial design right there, and that works well. I'm gonna click this again, and I'm gonna hit Command plus D or Control plus D to duplicate. And when I get ready to move this, you want to make sure you have those four, like the crosshairs with the arrows on it. Otherwise, you will change the shape of your sphere. And that looks pretty good. I can always straighten that out better later. And now it's about adding the shield part right here. And to do so, we're going up to the line tool. Click on the toggle next to it. We're going down to polyline. And I'm just going to kind of guess where I want this to be. I'm going to start about right here. And I want to bring this up over on the side here a little bit so that I can extend that line down. I'm going to use the side of this, of this um, shape right here, but it's out to the side, so it's a little bit wider. And then I'm going to bring it down more to make it more dynamic. And then I will come into about... I'm coming up through the middle, and we'll change this in a little bit if I have to. And I'm going to click here, and there's the shape. Let me get out of this tool by hitting Escape on the keyboard. And I'm going to double click inside, and we are going to move this around a little bit and come up with a little bit different shape. And that will work better. I definitely want it to be more dynamic, maybe a little wider here, and we'll see how this works overall. And then I'm going to change this line right here to a light gray by going to border color and maybe choosing this color right here. And then I'm going to select it again. I'm going to duplicate it, Control plus D or Command plus D, and flip it by going to Arrange, down to Rotate, and flip it horizontally. And we'll bring that one over here and kind of see how this works. And if I want, I can make this thinner a little bit later. I'm just going to keep this here, and um, I'm going to group them. I got Well, actually, I'm not going to group them yet because I want to change the colors. So I'm grabbing this one right here. I'm also going to come over here and click on this one, and we're going to see what values were created there. And it looks like it was pretty light. I'm going to the paint bucket, coming over to gradient, going down to custom, and we will add one stop. And I'll move that over here. And this one's gonna be a little bit on the lighter gray. Uh, maybe I'll go, like if this is one stop, I'll go down maybe four stop, or three stops. And then I'm gonna click on this one and turn this one to white. And over here, I think I'm just going to make this a little bit lighter since I'm imagining the light hitting this side. And maybe I will go to this one right here and we'll see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to select this other side and we'll see what we have going on here. You can see that there's a gray border. So I'm going to click on this one and maybe go one stop darker. And then I'll come over here to the paint tool and we'll see what we have going on here. And it looks like that. And I'm going up to the paint bucket, 
gradient down to custom and we're going to add two stops spread them out that looks pretty good and then I'm going to click over here and go with like the this darker gray and then this one right here looks like it's about that and this one here looks about the same but I'm going to make this one a little lighter and then we'll go over to here and we're going back to a darker gray and then I'm going to change the angle from 90 to 180 and kind of get an idea of what that looks like and that looks pretty good this is a little bit lighter and if I have to I can come back in and change that I just want to see what it looks like and I'm actually okay with that but it is a little bit bright it is kind of throwing things off a little bit so I will click on this double or actually not double click just select it I'm going back to my custom color and I will change this one one stop darker and then I should be okay and that's pretty much what I wanted great so I'm going to click off here and now we have this I'm going to grab this one I'm holding down the shift key so I can select the other side too it's just the front part of the shield for the head I'm going up to arrange to group them together and I'm going to just bring it in a little bit make it a little bit skinnier and then see if I can center that I'm going to bring a guideline over from underneath the ruler here and now it's time to see if we can kind of get everything more straight I'm going to move this one out of the way too and let's see if we can get this to line up I think I'm going to bring this one down here a little bit more I can grab it and that tools in the way so I'm going to grab this one bring it down and maybe bring this one down too and maybe this one will be a little bit thinner and you can play around with this as much as you want Okay, so we have that, and I'm going to grab these two parts. That I'm going to grab all of my antennas right here, and I'm going to just pull it up a little bit more to make it taller. And it looks like I need to move these up. Remember to make sure that you have the crosshairs there if you do the same thing like I did. Okay, and okay, that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is move this guideline out of the way and I'm going to group everything together. I, I do see I need to move this one down a little bit more and see if I can kind of round it over there. And this one needs to come down a little bit more too. And this part I would just play around with. I will probably come back and just make sure that this is accurate um, for what I wanted to show. I'm also going to click on each I'm going to keep that line on here I wasn't going to but I think I will and one thing I want to do up here is on the second side not that part but this I'm going to ungroup this for a second and on this side I want I do have an outline around it on the side I wanted to make sure that was a lighter gray and it is and I think we're good there if I want I could also do that on the cones but I'm going to keep them just like this is to group everything together hit command plus a or control plus a on the keyboard so I'm holding down the command button and pressing a I'm on an Apple so Apple devices use command instead of control once we have this selected we are going to arrange and we're going to group everything together and then we're clicking on format options again if you see the three dots horizontal dots and you don't see format options just click on that and it will come up I'm going to click over here and we're going to drop shadow I'm going to change this to the bright red and we're just going to play around with this a little bit pull it out and add a little glow coming downward like so 
and that looks really good. I'm going to click all this so you can see it better. And if you need to change anything, you can. I think I do want, um, I did want to have a little bit more of a red glow right here, and I could play around with that later on. But I'm going to keep this one like this because I think you get the idea. And while I have everything grouped together here, I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Control plus D or Command plus D on Apple devices. And then I'm going to cut it out by hitting Command plus X on the keyboard. And then I'm going to take it over to that other drawing. I just clicked on the other tab up here at the top. And I'm going to click in the middle here. And then I'm going to hit Command plus B as in Van or com Control plus D or Command plus D. And then I'm going to center this. And we'll see what we have here. Let's see, I'm going to bring that up. And we might need to adjust it a little bit. And, okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit more. I want it a little bit thinner. So I just made it thinner. And I'm looking to center this a little bit more. And it looks like we're snapping to a grid. I'm not sure. I'm going to view just to make sure. Snap to, yes, I want to get rid of that. It's snapping to a guide right there. I don't want that. And now I'm going to see if I can center it a little bit better. And I can. Awesome. Now, this is a little bit thicker apart, so I'm just going to bring it in just a tad bit and do a little bit over on this side so the wings are attached to the body. And that's looking pretty good. One thing I did forget was to, I'm going to bring this down farther. And one thing I did forget to do were the little spikes right here, so I'll do it on this part. All I'm going to do is grab the little triangle up here. First of all, I'm going to arrange and I'm going down to ungroup. And then I'll grab one of these triangles here. I have to ungroup this again because it's, ah, maybe. I thought I did. Here we go. Let me hit Command plus D. And, oh, I guess I didn't have to. And now I'm going to rotate this around and start to make the bottom part right here. And this is kind of thin. And it's because I got a black line on it, so I'm going to go to border color. And I'm going to choose transparent. And that made it a little bit thicker right there. And maybe I'm going to bring this one down a little bit lower so I can attach this part to it. And I can still keep playing around with these as much as I want. And then I'm going to move this one down to about right here and attach it onto there. And then I'm going to hit Command plus D or Control plus D. I'm going to rotate it up a little bit so this one comes up. And kind of attach that so it looks like it's going behind. So to make it look like it's going behind, it's in front of this one right now. So what I want to do is go to Arrange go to order and to send it backwards. And now it's going behind and we have that. And I think I'll keep it this thick on this one. And I'm going to grab this one. I'm holding down the shift key so I can select the other spike and I'm going up to arrange so I can group them. And then I'm going to duplicate by hitting control plus D or command plus D. And now it's time to flip it by going to arrange down to rotate and flip horizontally and then we're going to match this one up over on this side. Oops, I accidentally um, removed one so I'm just going to click the undo button to move it backwards and I did it again. I'm going to click off of this for a second and see if I can get a hold of that. Bring it down a little bit there. Now I need to bring it in a little bit as well and down. And I, I will come out a little bit after I get that kind of lined up. I'm going to move this one out here a little bit too. I kind of like the black line there. Um, what I'm going to do real quick though is I'm going back to un, um, I'm going back to ungroup because I see I need to move this back one in a little bit more. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Of course, I could group these and do the... Um, you know, flip it over so they're grouped and they're exactly the same, but I'm not too concerned about that. 
clicking on this one, I'm going to ungroup and then I will grab this part and move it inward. See how we did there? And that looks pretty good. Now we have all of this done. And the last thing I want to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key and select all four of these spikes right here. And I'm going to group it again. Then I'm going back to format options. I got three dots over here. Um, so I'm going to format options and I'm going to go to drop shadow and see if I can get a little bit of that red in there. And I don't know if I have it there or not. So I'm just going to close this. I'm going to open it up again and see if I can kind of bring that out a little bit there in a little radiance and we'll see what we got. And that looks pretty good. So at least that's kind of where we're going with this. Of course, you can play around and make this darker up here if you like this one better. This one has a little bit more dark areas in it. But for the most part, it's very similar. And this one definitely stands out a little bit more. So I wish you the best. I hope you enjoyed this. The next part is finishing the lettering. So congratulations on finishing part two. Bye-bye.